I'm Lainey Kral from The Moment, a site about thoughtful, elevated living. I truly believe that style does not have to be compromised by living responsibly. This show is all about conscious entertaining, so we need to ask the right questions. Where does our food come from? How should we set the table? Who's in our community that we can support? It's about living mindfully. Welcome to our journey as we explore how to entertain consciously. This is The Table. I'm putting a white tablecloth down on the table so that the colors of the wine can really shine tonight. I'm layering on top different fabrics and textures to bring some dimension to the table. I'm putting the white wine glasses down on the left, and then the red glasses, and then the water glasses. It's important to serve wine in the right glasses to enhance the flavors and the color. The neat thing about these glasses is that they have a purpose. Part of the proceeds go to charity, which I love. It's all about creating as many different flavors and visual cues as possible when prepping for a wine tasting. I'm cutting the bread into different shapes and sizes. And for the crostini, we're gonna drizzle with this delicious olive oil and then sprinkle some with salt and some with herbs before toasting under the broiler. To create even more different visual cues, we can use pattern cloths and different size baskets to display the bread. I love the way the natural wood colors of this board play into my color scheme. The meats from fatted calf are perfect for the wines I'm sharing today. For cheese, I chose a buttery triple cream brie, a tangy goat cheese, and an earthy truffle goat cheese for the Chardonnay. To go with the reds, I chose a drunken goat, it's washed in Merlot, a creamy manchego, and a nutty gouda to accentuate the Pinot Noir. I included nuts, olives, pickles, dried fruit, and citrus for different textures and flavors and to make the board look extra abundant. Designing the board is my favorite part. It's just like painting, putting different colors and ingredients next to each other to create the prettiest picture. For the tablescape, we wanted to keep the colors neutral and fun. We picked olive branches and rosemary with pops of color from the oranges, anchored by the sourdough baguettes to create a somewhat edible centerpiece. I'm opening the pinot before my guests arrive to allow it to breathe and expand the flavor profile. I think they're really going to enjoy this. I think we're all set. Now it's just time for the guests to arrive. It seems like everyone really enjoyed my wine tasting party. The food and wine were excellent. We had a great afternoon. I love coming to Napa and Sonoma and getting to see all my family and friends. A wine tasting party was the perfect way to get everyone together. 